Time to drop the impeachment hammer on Donald Trump. Once again, the President of the United States has undermined the Constitution. He is spinning a false conservative narrative into a national emergency just to be able to allocate funds to build his unnecessary wall. Enough is enough, he is disgracing the Oval Office. Donald Trump has lied more than 8,000 times since taking office and counting. While calling for unity, he has at the same time taken a vile attitude towards members of the Democratic Party. When he doesn't get his way, he throws temper tantrums on Twitter, kicks journalists out of press briefings, and calls them the enemy of the people. These scandals are only getting worse under his watch. This is not even including his private meetings with Putin or praising North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un, along with the top people of his campaign team have having been indicted. This lack of leadership continues with his treatment of veterans, including war heroes. It took Trump more than two years to finally visit troops in a combat zone, and when he did, he lied to them, saying he was the only one in office who gave them a pay raise. His policies are cruel and inhumane, locking children in cages because immigrants want a better life. He bans transgender people from joining the United States military. Trump constantly violates the Constitution, for example, encouraging punitive actions against black NFL players who were exercising free speech to raise a warren as during football games of police brutality. He has done so much harm to our country, and the list goes on. He's praised dictators, and he's called neo Nazis very fine people. He does not hold anyone in the Republican Party accountable for racism or other wrongful acts, but will condemn anything a Democrat is accused of. He has caused the United States to be a joke to the world in the United Nations General Assembly and most recently in Munich, Germany, with no applause after the greeting from Mike Pence. Trump has called various countries unfortunate derogatory words. These past few months have been the worst because of the toll the American people have suffered under his leadership or lack thereof. Instead of listening to experts on immigration, he buys into what his favorite pundits say about it. They ignore facts like MS-13 having been created in the United States, facts like immigrants coming through legal points of entry, and they forget to mention that seeking asylum is legal and human right. Because Trump fell for the conservative propaganda on Fox, he shut down the U.S. government in a way that disingenuously put many people in a financial burden. So many Americans were unable to provide for their families, including people in the U.S. Coast Guard. This disaster has even put our country's safety at national risk. And now, he has declared national emergency when there isn't any emergency at the border. This act is unconstitutional and compromises the office of the President of the United States, which is supposed to be a position of honor and integrity, and Trump hasn't displayed any of these values. I am a United States military veteran, and I took an oath to defend our country and constitution. I am requesting that all lawmakers, Republican, Democrat, Senate, House, and anyone else with the authority to come together and save our country and begin the process of impeachment and removal of Donald Trump. I believe this may be the only way our country can heal and unite once again.